and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a hair tutorial for you that's quick, easy, and definitely foolproof. If you're not good with hair, don't worry because I'm not that good with hair and I can do this. So one of the biggest hair trends this year has been really messy wave slash curly hair. If you're familiar with Anko Trend, I will leave his Instagram in the information bar below. He is really known for the lived in hair. So I'm going to try my best to replicate that. It is just super easy, super quick, and it really doesn't matter if you're perfect or not because it's all about those naturally messy textures so let's get started so I'm starting off with third day hair this is a little bit flat and also oily on the scalp so the first thing I'm going to do is use a dry shampoo and this one is by not your mother's Now that you have your dry shampoo, you want to kind of massage it in and make sure the dry shampoo actually absorbs the oils. Next up, I'm going to brush out my hair, which is going to make it frizzy, but it's okay because we're going to be styling it later. is to apply a heat protecting spray and I'm using this one by Paul Mitchell. This is the Hot Off The Press Thermal Protect Hairspray. This is amazing because the mist is so fine that it doesn't make your hair completely wet. Since I do have short hair with an undercut, I don't have too much hair to play with so I'm not going to be too picky when it comes to sectioning off my hair but if you do have longer hair I do recommend to section off your hair a little bit better but for my case it's just pretty short so it doesn't really matter. I am going to take my hair straightener and these ones are by Paul Mitchell, they're the pro tool ones but you can use any hair straightener that you currently own and I'm using it in a rather low setting. I don't like using hair straighteners at a very high setting because first of all it damages your hair more and also if you dye your hair, my hair is not dyed but still I want to get this information out there. Using your hair straightener at a very high temperature is going to make your hair dye fade a lot faster. So, and regardless, it might take you a little bit longer just to get your hairstyle done, but in the long run, it's going to pay off because your hair is going to be a lot more healthy. For these short sections, I am just going to basically straighten them because these ones, it's just way too short to get any of that texture in. So now for the longer layers, you're going to take a section of hair kind of a thin one and the first thing you're going to do is create a dent downwards there we go then from there you're going to do it upwards then downwards again and then this part you're going to just straighten so it's just gonna look a little bit crimped don't worry if you don't nail it the first time because you have a lot of hair to work with but you just want kind of a crimp and you can definitely go back and just create that more defined wave so this is kind of the wave that you're looking for under over under and straight basically <laughs> that's the summary under over under straight front portions I like to do another thing I like to kind of create curls so all you have to do is twist it upwards like this kind of wrap it around and drag it down so you're gonna create curls with your straighteners which is very easy decide where you want your part, I'm going to part it down the middle. the 
results once you have the mixture of waves and curls that you want. Grab something like this. This is a texturizing spray. This is from Garnier for Tea, so it's very affordable. You could also use something like the Your Bay Dry Texturizing Spray or something more high-end, but this does the job really well. And with this, you just kind of want to spread your hair just to enhance the texture and the messiness, especially up by your roots. And the very last step is to apply just a little bit of hairspray if you want to. This one is by Paul Mitchell, it has flexible hold, and it is the Five Drying Sculpting Spray. And that's it for this tutorial, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like always, practice makes perfect, but with this hairstyle, it really doesn't matter if you're not perfect because it's all about embracing that messy texture. So I am in love with this hairstyle and it's definitely a big trend that I'm embracing because I'm all about that messy hair life. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this tutorial. Also give this video a like if you want to see more hair tutorials in this channel. And if you're brand new, don't forget to subscribe by clicking right over here. Yeah, until next time! Bye!